I know what you're thinking. He looks different today. Something's changed. Well, it's not my hair, it's my glasses. These are the VIEW smart glasses and they offer sound as well as vision. Let's have a closer look. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for This is not a sponsored video, but VIEW, the makers of these glasses, asked me if I wanted to give them a go. And I said yes, because when you think about it, glasses are the epitome of everyday carry gear if you wear them all the time, like I do. Or you might consider them essential travel gear if you are a fan of sunglasses. And therefore, anything that makes them more functional is going to be of interest to me and maybe you. I'm going to have to wear these glasses in order to show you these glasses. And these glasses have built in speakers and microphones and connect to your mobile or computer so you can listen to audio and make phone calls using these glasses. Effectively, an alternative to earphones and AirPods and the like. The very first VIEW glasses were launched in 2016 on Kickstarter with over 10,000 backers raising over $2.2 million. Since then, the company has evolved the range and these are the VIEW Lite and they've only just recently launched the VIEW Lite 2, which I can also talk about. So an expanding range of glasses from VIEW. So if these effectively do what your earphones do, then the question must be, do they sound better than your earphones? And the answer is no. And convenience springs to mind because not having to carry earphones if you wear glasses all the time is probably quite useful, but that's not really it. These do not really replace your earphones because your earphones do a much better job if all you want to do is get the best out of your music. Now, there is another reason why you might want to own these glasses. So this is where these really come into their own. Walking the dog on a quiet country road, but wanting to be aware of any traffic coming up behind me and generally staying connected with the outside world. So putting in earphones, I think we all appreciate is a barrier to the outside world. And Apple have tried to address it with transparency mode on something like the AirPods Pro, but it doesn't quite do it for me because it doesn't quite feel natural. And as well as walking, don't forget, there's also jogging and cycling. In fact, any activity that allows you to keep your glasses on your face. And if you're already a glasses wearer or regularly wear sunglasses, I guess these mean there is potentially one less thing to carry. The other thing to bear in mind is that if you are in a group of people and they see you've got earphones in, you are generally disconnected from that group because people know that they are probably not going to get through to you if they start talking to you because you probably won't be able to hear them. And therefore you're disconnected from that group and the group is disconnected from you. And even if they do want to talk to you, they're probably going to have to wave their hands around and speak loudly just to get your attention. And that won't happen with these because you might be listening to a podcast or an audiobook and somebody around you can speak to you normally and you can very quickly stop playback and listen to what they have to say. So you feel much more connected and part of what's going on. So what these do differently is they keep you connected with the world around you whilst you continue to listen to your audiobooks, podcasts, radio, sports coverage, and I would say casual music listening. Because really, if you want to listen to a deep bass or full frequency response from your music or high volume, then you simply won't get it with these. So let's have a closer look. The glasses come in this box, which is nicely done. And inside you get the glasses in a pouch. Then under here you get a charging cable. And under here you get some glasses cleaner, quick start instructions and some details on the warranty and handling. So let's have a look at the glasses. And they come in a variety of styles. So there is quite a lot to choose from. And you can choose to have prescription lenses, which I've got in here, or reading lenses, or you can have these as sunglasses. If you look at the view glasses here compared with my backup glasses, you'll see that the arm thickness is not a great deal more 
than we have on these here. So I don't think they look overly thick and I think they've done a pretty good job of concealing all the electronics in the arms on these lasses. You can see here these four points. Uh, two of them are for charging and the other two are magnets so you can connect the charging cable. Here you have the speakers, very hard to see but that means the sound comes out just above your ear. Quality of the plastic seems really good and they feel really well made. So no worries there. And when it comes to charging, they fasten on here. It's not a hugely elegant solution having to connect to two charging points, but at least you only need one cable. The other end of the cable has a USB-A and if we plug that into here then we can see there's a red light on each side to show that both arms are charging and that light will go off once they are fully charged. A full charge will give you 20 hours of standby time which I think is pretty good and about four hours of continuous use, which I think is okay. Although I have to say that they do charge quite quickly, particularly the new model, which charges in only 10 minutes. So both arms operate independently, but they communicate with Bluetooth between themselves and also with say the mobile phone. And what that means is you actually get full stereo surround sound from the speakers. In terms of weight, these are super light, weighing in at just 38 grams, which is 1.34 ounces. And in terms of waterproofing, they meet the IPX5 standard, which means rain, yes, swimming, no. In terms of operation, it's really simple to use. The logo here on each arm are in fact touch sensors. So you can play, pause or answer or end calls with a simple double tap on either arm. Or if you press and hold the logo for three seconds, it will trigger your voice assistant. What is the capital of the UK? If you keep holding, it will power off and it tells you it's powering off. Power off. And when one arm powers off, the other arm does as well because at that point they're communicating. To turn them on is a little bit more of a faff because the arms are not communicating at that point. So you have to turn them both on independently. And you simply do that by pressing the logo on both arms until it tells you it's coming on. As I mentioned before, there are two versions of the view light. This one, which is the original view light, and that retails for $149. And then there is a view light two, which is just released and retails for $199. With the view light two, you get louder volume, which I think is nice to have, and also some improved touch controls, which also have audible feedback in the form of a beep and also allow for triple tap. You get the fast charging, so they will charge in 10 minutes, whereas this charges in an hour. There's a new app coming for the View Like 2, which adds Alexa integration and allows some customization of the button presses and some other things like battery monitoring. So for an extra $50, I would go for the View Like 2. So in conclusion, they are well made, they are lightweight and comfortable to wear, and I think the price is fine. In fact, I've spent more on sunglasses alone in the past. If you are a glasses wearer, or you enjoy wearing sunglasses, and you enjoy listening to what you might call the spoken word, and by that I mean the radio, audiobooks, or podcasts, and you don't want to be disconnected from the outside world when doing that, then this is definitely something worth looking at. And if you're a glasses wearer and you enjoy making hands-free calls, then these make sense too, because you don't have to carry separate earphones. But I would stress that these don't really have the audio quality to get the most out of your music. So don't throw away your AirPods. There is one drawback that's worth mentioning, and that is that other people can potentially hear 
what you're listening to, only if the volume is quite loud on these and people are close by. Not a problem if you're outdoors, particularly if you're on your own, but if you're indoors in a quiet space and there are people close by, the volume is high, then they are going to be listening to what you're listening to. And if you've enjoyed this review, you might be interested in some of my favourite reviews on this channel so far, which are linked to here. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.